Hello everyone. So uh, my name is Hemant Pandey. Uh, I am a senior lecturer. I have done masters from ESTC, and uh, I am here to teach you basic electrical and electronics. This is a chapter number three: electronic component and signal. So basically, we are now uh, doing the chapter from the electronics uh, department, electronics subject, right? I told you earlier that this subject is uh, there are total six chapter, three are from electrical and three are from electronics. So this is the first chapter of the electronics which are doing, which are we are going to do. So let's start. The chapter name is electronic component and signal. Okay. So let us see what do you mean by component at all. Okay. So basically, if we are talking here component, so we are talking here about the electronic component okay now uh, let us see what do you mean by active and passive component before doing the electronic component let us uh, understand what do you mean by active and passive component okay so active components the components which are capable of providing the power gain okay now what do you mean by power gain suppose there is a one uh, circuit or we can we can say that there is one system we are giving input 2 volt and we are getting output 4 volt right so input is 2 volt output is 4 volt so what do you mean by what is the gain here gain is always output upon input so 4 upon 2 is 2 right so we are getting some gain that is we are we are getting some increasing in the from the uh, input right so active component components are those which are providing some energy which are giving some extra power supply right not power supply which are giving some extra power example diode and transistor okay so all these uh, components are used to increase the voltage next one is passive component passive components are not capable of providing any power gain okay so they are just uh, they do, they don't generate or they don't increase the power or any voltage so what is the example resistor capacitors inductors okay all these uh, are the example of the passive component so this is very important uh, definitions okay so i hope you are clear with active and passive component so just remember active is a component which provide the gain and passive is a component which does not provide any gain okay and the example are the resistors capacitors and inductors so in this chapter we are going to understand the passive component that is resistor capacitors and inductors okay then in the next chapter we will do the we will uh, study something about uh, diodes and transistors okay so this is how our uh, subject will go so here we will in this chapter we have to concentrate on resistors capacitors inductors their applications and etc and there are many things okay so let us uh, go first with the resistor okay so you are <coughs> uh, basically have listen this uh, term many times a resistor so let us see what do you mean by resistor a resistor is a electronic component which provide the specific amount of opposition that is resistance to the flow of current okay so uh, what is a resistor a resistor has a property of resistance right to oppose the flow of current okay so this is a very simple and a very basic uh, uh, definition value of the resistor is called resistance okay so what is the function of resistor resistor provide resistance okay and it is denoted by r and what is the unit of the resistor ohms okay we uh, we always say what is the value of this resistor so we say 3 ohms 4 ohms 100 ohms 100 k ohms okay so all these are nothing but the unit of the resistor that is ohms okay so basically ohm was a scientist that is why this unit has derived from his name ohm okay now let us understand what do you mean by resistance okay so there is a difference between resistor and resistors a resistor is a component and resistance is the property which is providing by resistor okay which is offered by resistor okay so resistance is defined as a property of a material to oppose the flow of current okay so if that if the material have a high resistance it will oppose the it will oppose that amount of current okay and if it has a low resistance it will oppose low amount of current so here we can conclude that 
all the metals have the low resistance why because metal don't oppose any current they are a good conductor of electricity and all the insulators like plastic servers right uh, fiberglass they have a higher resistance because they oppose the flow of current because they are insulator right so this is the resistance okay symbol of the resistor so this is a simple uh, you can see this is a fixed resistor okay and this and when you will draw the arrow it will become a variable resistor what do you mean by variable resistor this are in this in the variable resistor we can change the value right like from 10 ohm to 20 ohm 30 ohm okay for that we have a potentiometer or we have a rheostat okay so these are the uh, variable resistor and the fixed resistor they have a they have a fixed value you cannot change so in the uh, if you will see the circuit if you will see any electronic component like uh, radio or, or uh, old old age tv when you will open will when you will open that tv you can see the circuit in the circuit uh, in the uh, green board there is a lot of uh, uh, a small resistor you can see there right i will show you the uh, image of the resistor in the letter okay okay now let us uh, do what are the general specification of a resistor okay what do you mean by specific specification uh, like uh, the re what are what are the different different parameters of a resistor okay Or we can say that not parameters are not a correct word. Specification means uh, how you can define the resistor. Okay, what are the different different uh, terms which can uh, which is very important when you will use the resistor. Okay, so you you should know all this uh, specification of a resistor if you are going to use in a certain application or in a certain project. So you have to understood all this specification okay so let us go one by one first one is a maximum voltage rating okay maximum voltage rating of a resistor means what suppose for a given suppose there's a one resistor okay so for that you should know the maximum voltage rating right why because uh, beyond that voltage what will happen uh, the resistor can damage or we can say that this is a this uh, specification indicate that the maximum current what is the value of the maximum current which can flow to the to through that resistor okay so if we uh, read it for the given voltage of the resistor maximum voltage will determine the maximum current to the resistor basically current flow to the through that resistor it means okay so here we can understand here we can understand that max, if we know the maximum voltage rating we can define we can say that yeah this is a maximum current uh, this is a maximum current which can flow the through this resistor okay okay so next one is a power rating okay power rating is nothing but power dissipation is the amount of the power that is converted to the heat light or other form of energy okay so what uh, basically here what did it, it does it mean that <coughs> uh, suppose look here the formula p is equal to i square into r right so i is nothing but the current current flowing through that resistor so here also the same thing Say, suppose if uh, the pa pa the total power which can uh, consume that resistor if the extra power is uh, uh, means if the extra power which is not using by that resistor it will convert it to the heat okay or light or any other form of the energy so the maximum power which it can withstand means after that power the uh, resistor will uh, damage by because of heating or any some uh, or because of the different different reason so that you, that is mean the power rating right suppose if you are going to the market and you are saying that uh, i want this resistor what is the power rating Right, so he will say that uh, power rating is a 5 watt. So it means after 5 watt, if you are using that resistor, it, that resistor may can, that resistor may damage. Okay, so that is the meaning of the power rating. Temperature coefficient of resistor. Okay, it is defined as the ratio of the change in resistance to the actual value of the resistance for the 
change in the temperature okay so this is a basically a simple formula change in the resistance means what was the value of the resistance earlier and after when uh, temperature is, is increased or decreased then what is the value of the resistance now so th that difference upon the actual value of the resistance that is before changing the temperature okay so that is the temperature coefficient of a resistance resistor tolerance value okay it is defined as a deviation from the no nominal value of the resistor it may range from plus 0.01 percent to plus or minus 20 percent uh, for tolerance means here suppose there is a resistor and the value of that resistor is 100 ohm okay now the manufacturer will give you the tolerance all these uh, specifications are given by the manufacturer okay now if the manufacturer given that if the manufacturer said that uh, that the value of the resistor uh, the tolerance of the resistor is plus or minus 20 percent okay so what is the nominal value 100 100 ohm and 20 percent of 100 is 20 right so they are saying that 100 plus 20 that is 120 and 100 minus 20 that is 80 so the range of that resistor may vary from 80 to 100 actually i have taken a very large tolerance that is not that much but that's just for understanding i am taking this value 20 percent right so it means that the resistor which is given by the manufacturer is not 100 percent accurate the value may vary from 80 to 120 why because the tolerance is uh, tolerance is 20 okay so uh, so so if the tall so the if the tolerance is very low it means the resistance is better because it, it will give a accurate value of the resistance okay so this is the general specification of resistor uh, maximum voltage rating so basically there are many more uh, specifications okay they are very much but these are all these uh, specification are very important and they are most common uh, specification that's why uh, we are going through all this specification okay so let's stop here and the rest of the topic we will do in the next video okay thank you